There are a lot of things about Schoology that might remind you of something like Facebook. So I've just logged in to Schoology as a test student, but you can see uh, down the center, it's sort of like a, your Facebook feed where anything that comes from any of your courses or groups that you're a part of automatically show up with the most recent thing at, top, at the top. On the right-hand side, you'll be able to see upcoming events. So I can see that there's um, an event where grade six is going to get an intro to Schoology tomorrow, um, that there's a quiz coming up on Wednesday, and by Thursday there's a discussion that's um, due. And um, also on Thursday it, there is an assignment due. So I can see all of the tests, quizzes, assignments, and discussions that are coming up in my all of my classes. Um, your teachers will even be posting um, tests and assignments that are pen and paper based here so that you can see that they're coming up. And these things will automatically show up in your feed as long as you're a member of your courses. So to get to my courses, I click here on courses and I will have a list of all the courses I'm enrolled in. If I want to see a big list of that, I just say see all and it lists all the courses I'm a member of here. I can click on the section of my course and then go into the course. So here's the course page. Again, it looks pretty similar to the landing page we were just on, but now all the content in the center has to do only with this course. If I click on updates, again, I can see that poll that showed up on the first page. And as a student, I can even post something to my course. So I'll, let's say I have, um, I'm looking for clarification on something that happened in class. I missed it, maybe I was sick. I could post that here. Um, on the right hand side, again, I can see all the upcoming events, but now these events just have to do with what's going on in this course. On the left, I can see my grades in the course. And uh, this year at school, we're not going to use the attendance feature, but when we start doing that, you'll see your attendance and the number of times you've been late or excused or absent from a course. You can also see what other students are members of the course by clicking here on members. I'm going to go back to materials for a second and you can see right now a lot of the course content has been organized into this folder but if I know I'm looking specifically for one thing and it's, and it's an assignment for example I could click here on assignments and this would just show me all the different assignments that I've had in that course. But if I go back into the unit 1 folder you can see there's the same assignment. So go back to materials again for just one second um, and I'm going to go down here and show you files so your teachers might post uh, links to websites or different documents that they've used in class and this is a great place for them to keep them and I've posted three videos here so far and I'll probably post a few more about how to do a few things like how to complete and submit an assignment how to enroll in a course and how to participate in discussions all within Schoology